Greetings and welcome to this training video about how to control when content appears on a page using video duration. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reveal a call to action element after a video reaches a certain point so there's two common scenarios where you would want to implement this number one maybe you're running an evergreen webinar and you want only the call to action button to be revealed after you've dropped the offer so the call to action button would in this case be by now learn more or book call after you drop the offer and you've already established the value prior in the video this may help you with conversion because eliminates the people to go and check out the offer before you've established the value scenario number two is for lead generation purposes let's say you're giving out a lead magnet as a video and people start watching that video and at a certain point you can make a form show up for them to leave their name and email address or maybe phone number whatever data you want to collect in order to finish watching that video so let me show you how to do that so first you want to go to sites and funnels or maybe websites depending on where your video is hosted you find your final step on the left and hit edit now this is a way webinar for example you can see this video is actually a hosted video within the platform and here on the right under video type you can upload that hosted video once that's done you scroll down and you want to turn on generate leads from video so this feature here is the second scenario I just mentioned when you want to collect leads from people watching your videos and here you would determine after what time frame the form pops up in order to collect that data so let's say 20 seconds then you have to select the form let's say this one for example and here you can also decide whether or not you would allow them to continue watching the video without leaving the details let's actually change this to three seconds let's h publish and let's show you how that works let's click preview wait three seconds tada and here the form pops up amazing now in order to continue watching that video i will have to fill out my details now the second scenario if you want to drop a call to action button for example to encourage people to purchase the offer once you've dropped the offer within your webinar then all you want to do is actually add an element which is called timer let's choose the minute timer right here drop bit here and by default it's set to 45 minutes let's just do three seconds for demonstration purposes right now then scroll down also please make sure under expire actions you have selected show and hide element and not redirect url so here under revisit action select hide timer and show element so the timer then disappears and the button will show up okay so select the element here all the elements within the page right so scroll down on until you see that button it's also highlighted and orange to make sure it's the correct button select that button hit publish and let's preview so now it's all top Playing the video is auto playing you don't see the button right now you see the timer 3 2 1 and boom the click to sign up button appears right here I hope you see the value in this new feature. Thanks for listening to this video about how to control when content appears on a page using video duration. For more videos like this or to make a request for additional training videos please go to the main menu and add a comment a ticket.